Okay, if you're anything like me, you are totally into how easy it is to submit your Articulate 360 training content for publishing and reach. It's like, click, publish, done. But what about, what about older courses that you created with other authoring tools? No, no problem. You can easily import your third-party SCORM training and have it ready for your learners in no time. Come on, let me show you how this works. Okay, so I'm starting here in the Manage tab. The first thing I wanna do is just come over to Courses and so over courses, and we want to import a, a course, and you can see that right here. Now, before I can import a course, I need to first export it. So I need to go into that third-party app, export that training as uh, a SCORM 1.2 or any edition of SCORM 2004. So when I export my training from that tool, I just need to save it in some easy-to-access place. If I pop over here to my desktop real quick, you can see it right here. I've already got this performance reviews course already zipped up and ready to go. So I'm going to pop back into Reach 360 and import the course. And there's a, a help guide here if you run into any stuck or issues. I'm just going to go and, and navigate to my desktop, jump into the folder, select that file, and choose Open. All right, so it just takes a, a moment to upload. All right, so here we have the success. I'm gonna click done, and you'll see the content window showing here where the content is processing. Once this finishes processing, we'll be able to make all the uh, updates to the content, make it live in the library, and beginning to enroll learners or groups. Okay, so it finished processing. Let's go ahead and click the course to make the final changes. So this should all be familiar. If we wanna change the name of the course, we can click the little edit button, give it a a new name for the course. We can choose the library topics if we're gonna make it visible in the library. And click away from there. Uh, we can add a cover photo as always from our local hard drive or browse content library, enter a course description. We could preview the course. There's nothing to really review on the report. And of course we can remove it. I wanna call attention real quick to this upload new version. So let's say that maybe down the road you recreate this imported course in a you make a new version of it in Rise 360 or Storyline 360, uh, you can replace this or overwrite this course with a newer course whenever you want. One thing to keep in mind though is that if you overwrite this existing course, you import a new one and, and refresh it, the course will still maintain all of the current enrollments and completion statuses, but it does reset the learner progress. So the next time a learner launches the course, even if they've completed it, it would still start from the beginning, but their completion status is still intact. So uh, depending on what you need to, or how you need to handle reporting, it might actually just be easier to publish a new version of the course and then retire this older imported course. But the options are up to you. That way you don't have to worry about messing up any progress, but uh, you've got the flexibility to update and refresh the courses any way you want. All right, I'll click Publish, and course duration, 30 minutes, that's probably right. Course completion, and I'll make this available in our library, and just in the default library. Okay, click Publish, and that's all there is to it. You can go ahead and enroll groups or learners, or skip for now, now that this is in the, the library, but your learners will be able to find it. Okay, so what's really cool here is that you can always create a new course in Rise or Storyline and then overwrite those older courses that you imported whenever you want. A quick heads up, when you update imported courses, it's gonna keep all of the current enrollments and the completion statuses, but it does reset the learner progress. So uh, the next time a learner logs in, they're gonna start at the very, the very beginning. So depending on your reporting needs, your reporting needs, you might find it easier to just publish an updated course as a brand new course and then retire that old one. That way you don't have to worry about messing up anyone's, anyone's progress. But the cool thing here is you have the flexibility to update and refresh those courses whenever you need to. So it's all about making things easier for you and your learners.